Hi friends, Shay here. So I am here to talk to you about my reading plans for the month of April. So in the month of April, I'm only going to be doing my buddy reads with Lindsay and I think Dylan's going to join us on some of them as well as the Tell It Again book, which we usually bring April in to um, buddy read. So let's talk about those real quick. So the Tell It Again book club pick is going to be, I believe it's called Abandon by Meg Cabot. Yes, Abandon. Had to make sure I had the right title. Um, we're going to be doing this series on and off with another series on Tell It Again. So I'm very much looking forward to reading that one. And then I've got three historicals that we have planned. I do know Dylan's going to join us on two of them, I think. So first up, we're going to do book one in the Wild series, which is Wild in Love by Eloisa James. We're really excited to dive into this series. And yes, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun for us. And this one has a great step back, by the way. Really love it. And then we also have The Eternal Highlander by Lindsay Sands and Hannah Howell. We're definitely looking forward to getting some Highlander romances in the mix. And then we also have The Duke Buys a Bride by Sophie Jordan. This is the first book in the Rogue Files. I've read two of the Rogue File books, but I own them all. So really excited to be getting more into that. All right, let's get on to the arcs that I have for the month of April. The ones that I have not read yet are The Marriage He Demands by Brenda Jackson, How to Catch a Duke by Grace Burroughs, um, The Paris Apartment by Kelly Bowen, A Cowboy Kind of Love, A Wedding on Lilac Lane, How to Train Your Earl, Meant to be Immortal, A Wicked Bargain for the Duke, A Marriage of Equals, and must love cowboys. So those are always top priority. I do try to get to those first before I get to my physical reads, though I am bound and determined to get more physical reading done this month than I did last month and the month before that actually. So let's go ahead and talk about the physical things I want to read. So basically I'm just kind of playing TBR catch up from the first quarter of the year. I think this is something I'm gonna to continue to do because these are all books I'm genuinely excited to read. I just, haven't made the time for them yet because I've been focused on digital reads and things. So that's going to shift and we're going to focus on these. So currently I am working on No Rest for the Wicked by Cressley Cole, as well as Master of Crows by Grace Draven. I don't know if these will be finished before the end of March. I'm hoping so, but I'm going to put them in this video just in case they're not. Then I have Once Upon a Kiss by Claire Cross. This has like fey elements to it, kind of historical. It just looks like it's going to be fun. And then I've got Loving Catalina Cove by Brenda Jackson. So I'll have two Brenda Jackson reads. This one's just a lot longer, which is why... I think I keep putting it off, but I do love Brenda Jackson's writing so much and I've heard such amazing things about the series that I really want to get this done soon. Next I have Empire of Sand by Tasha Suri. This is one that I have been told over and over and over again to read. Like it's just something that I'm supposed to be reading and from everything I can tell about it, it's something I'm going to love and adore. So it just needs to happen. Um, one release that does come out this month that I have not gotten to yet, and that's Lycanthropy and Other Chronic Illnesses by Kristen O'Neill. This is a YA book sent to me from Quirk Books, so thank you to Quirk. This comes out late in April. So this is probably gonna be the first physical that I read outside of what I'm currently reading, just because I would like to get this done before release date. Then we have Unhinged by Helen Hart. I'm looking, I. I need vampire romances. So this is happening. I might throw in the next two Black Dagger Brotherhood. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see what happens. Next we have The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. Definitely looking forward to a fantasy kind of romance from what I hear. And I believe this one's YA, which I've been struggling a little bit with, but I'm still hopeful with this one. And then I have A Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kozloff. This is book one in the Nine Realm series. All of the books in the series are out, but I do want to read this first one before I just go buy the others, because if I don't love this first book and don't want to continue, then I don't want to waste my money. You know what I mean? Then I have Sisters of Shadow and Light by Sarah B. Larson. At least book two is out in this series. Book three might be out as well, but I, I love Sarah B. Larson. I just want to prioritize sitting down and reading this book. Then I have The Peasant's Dream by Melanie Dickerson. Again, this one is a YA fantasy in this reverse imagining of a Cinderella story. Secrets and dangerous enemies threaten a fairy tale romance. So y'all know me, fairy tale romances are just my thing. And this looks like it's going to be beautiful. And then last but not least for the physical stack, I have A Crown of Wishes by Roshani Chalk. 
Yes, she. I'm awful at pronouncing her last name, so please forgive me for my butchered pronunciation. I, I still attempt every time. Um, I really loved um, the first book in this duology, so I really would love to get to this. I know it follows different characters, but I, I really love the Star Touch Queen, and so I just really want to get to this one. Psych, I have one more book I am adding to this list, and that is the next installment in the Wheel of Time series, which is Knife of Dreams. This is book 11 of 14, so we're getting to the end. Um, this is the last book before Brandon Sanderson comes in to help finish off the series. So I am really excited to keep going in the series. I've been alternating this with the Spellmonger series, and it's been a good balance for me. So the last thing I'm going to mention is I am doing a 30 in 30 challenge for my manga reading in the month of April. I am doing this with Izzy at Happy For Now, as well as Tamika from Library of Tomes. The challenge is to read a volume of manga a day or read a total of 30 in the month of April. So I am very much looking forward to this. My physical TBR is much bigger than I typically like for my manga, so this will be a great way to knock down a bunch of that. Um, I will probably add some digital titles on top of that, but my 30 and 30 is going to focus on the physical volumes that I own. So I'm not going to give you like a solid TBR for that because I think that will fluctuate throughout the month. So that is the plan. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you plan on reading in the month of April and if you want to participate in the 30 and 30 with us. There is all sorts of helpful um, tools over on our Instagrams. You have story tools where you've got like a place to put your manga review, um, a place to keep track of them all, all that kind of good stuff. All that stuff is over there. So you can definitely use those tools. I believe I've also put them on the my Twitter. So if you're not an Instagram person, you should be able to find the tools on Twitter as well. So thank you again for watching and take bets on what you think, how many of these you think I'll actually get read. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.